I totally, I totally just saw someone standing right there. Me, it just said me. The Stanley Hotel is located in Estes Park, Colorado. It was built in 1909 as a grand summer resort that catered to the wealthy travelers from the East Coast. Today the hotel is listed on the National Register of Historic Places and is a member of Historic Hotels of America. As years passed, more and more visitors reported a lot of paranormal activity going on in the hotel. There have been many ghost sightings in the hotel bar, McGregor dining room, many guest rooms, and more. Back in 1974, famous author Stephen King and his wife were on vacation and were the only guests at the hotel as it was closing for the winter season. They ended up staying in room 217, and Stephen King's frightening paranormal experiences became the background for his novel The Shining. This hotel is now considered one of the most haunted hotels in America. Hey Hellcats, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Kelsey Davies. Tonight I'm staying at the infamous Stanley Hotel in Colorado. I'm super stoked to be here. Side note, if I don't look very good, it's because I had a stomach bug really bad all day. I have not left the toilet, TMI. So if I'm breathing really heavy, I'm trying not to like, you know, uh, I'm hoping that I can make it through this video. I've been bedridden all day. I just like my medication just kicked in so I'm ready to go. I don't know how long I can do this but we're hanging in there so give that like button a nice little tap for me because I'm putting myself through a lot for this video. Um, so is my grandma and my mom. They're actually at dinner right now. I couldn't even go eat dinner. That's how bad it's been. But I want to show you guys the hotel room real quick. Might be a little messy, but this is our hotel room. There's all my medication and Gatorade, you know the whole deal. So I've been in bed all day. Earlier there was a woman sitting in this chair. I don't know if she's still here. I think she left when I was like having issues because she probably didn't want to hear all that. Like I wouldn't either if I was a ghost, but there was also a young boy or girl. I couldn't really tell what it was, but it was over here. It was very small. Um, and it was kind of hanging around this bed. It was kind of sitting on it and then hanging around this door. And then I also saw a really tall man earlier, like, like super tall. So there's already been activity. I know my mom and my grandma, they walked by one of the most haunted rooms in the entire hotel. And they were freaking out because the door, it started shaking. And I guess no one's staying in that one tonight, so it was vacant. And the door started shaking, and my grandma and my mom were freaked out. They might join us on this adventure, but I hope you guys enjoy it, and I hope I can hang in there for you guys. So, here we go. is already hella creepy. Oh, I thought I heard someone walking. Hella creepy. Oh, I thought I heard someone I thought I heard someone I think it's a man. Okay. This piano's already creeping me out. What is that? Or maybe it's not a piano. this it looks like an old desk how weird why is it in the middle of the hallway oh my god there's a door open guys this is already pretty freaky i think it's just like a janitor closet let's see if anyone's in here i want my flashlight It's just a closet. <laughs> this is insane. I've been wanting to come here for years. Wow. This mirror has really weird energy. Like I feel like it's 
a portal of some sort. I don't know if I sound crazy, but I truly believe mirrors are portals because I've seen spirits walk in and out of mirrors like, like many times. So this could definitely be one. It's crazy. I'm all alone. I honestly don't know where to go. Oh my God, this is the elevator. No. Do I go in? <laughs> but um, they also filmed Dumb and Dumber here, so if you guys recognize anything, let me know. Oh my god. It looks like they're doing some construction. There were actually big fires here, and they didn't know if they were gonna save the hotel or not. Oh my god, wait. <gasps> no way. Am I a... <gasps> Okay, at least this is normal. Basement. <gasps> Am I really going to the basement? <gasps> oh, I'm at the bottom floor. Okay, I'm gonna go up. Do this hello <laughs> It's shaky. Is there someone outside? Oh, hello. <laughs> wow, it's pretty busy down here. Look at this old car, how cool. These are the famous stairs you might see in some movies. They're kind of under construction right now, but it's pretty cool. I noticed this hotel has a lot of mirrors and this one looks kind of like weird. Oh, here's part of the shining. That's crazy. This is like my favorite movie of all time, Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> I'm like fangirling so hard because I know where they filmed here. In the bar and, and the stairs. Oh wow, look at all this. Oh. Ooh, room 217. I wonder where that is. Maybe I could go up there. Take a look. They're explaining orbs, shadow figures, mist. So I guess these are really common. I mean, I already posted a TikTok and got a giant orb in my room, but I think it was from that lady. Look how cool. I actually met Jack Nicholson, fun fact. Got a picture with him and everything. There's a lot of super old pictures. Earlier I saw someone sitting up here. It's really hard to breathe right here. I feel like that man died, like maybe a lung problem. Can we just acknowledge how many mirrors there are? That's nuts. Okay, this is my floor. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna go by the room where my mom and my grandma freaked out. I think it's one more floor up. But there's a lot of old, like, Victorian ghosts here. It's pretty crazy. Like that. Oh my God, that looks like the lady that was sitting in my room. Literally. Yeah, it's like a lot of older souls. Alright, I'm going up to the fourth floor. Ooh, it's really heavy up here. Oh, I hate it. I'm glad I ain't staying on this floor. Oh, this is it. I think, I think this is one of the most haunted rooms along with, I think it was 403, maybe I passed it. The amount of spirits that are here is ridiculous. Look, here's 404. This must be 403. It doesn't have a number on it. How weird. I 
I knew someone was there. Someone's at the very end of the hall. It's a man. And then the two women. Oh. It's not picking him up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, that ain't my shadow. What the heck is that? Okay, I'm tripping. It looks like someone's standing with their hand on the rail. I'm starting not to feel so hot again. Sorry if I'm breathing really heavy. I'm really trying not to like throw up. I'm in between the fourth and the third floor. And I wanna see if anything comes through on the Spirit Box app. If you guys want the Spirit Box app, the link is in the description down below. Just be safe when using it. And what I mean by that is don't summon any demons. Just be safe while using it, you know? Can you tell me your name? I heard a doctor. I did feel a doctor in my room earlier, which was weird. I totally, I totally just saw someone standing right there. Me, it just said me. How many spirits are here with me right now? Right. 10? Were any of you in my room earlier? Oh, Lola's here. Oh, I, I asked Lola to come and she came. I knew she was here. Are you all positive spirits? I have this feeling that someone hung themselves. Me? Did one of you hang yourselves? I totally feel like someone hung themselves. And then I keep seeing a fire. I don't know what, if there was a fire here, but I keep seeing a fire too. I keep seeing this woman in a white dress. So I kind of want to explain how I see spirits versus like Amanda, whoops. So Amanda sees spirits like people, like literally like people. Whereas me, it takes a lot. I kind of have to focus on that spirit and know where they are and focus on them really hard to see what they look like. Images come to me, if that makes sense. Like images come to me and then I'll ask Amanda like if I'm right and she'll be like, yeah, yeah, you're right. You know, so it's like confirmation, but that's why I don't see them all the time. That's why I see flashes or like I feel someone there. I don't see them like Amanda does. Just wanted to put that out there. I also feel a young girl. Can the young girl tell me your name? Abby? Is your name Abby? I'm gonna look up some history of the Stanley Hotel. I haven't yet, which I probably should have. Stanley Hotel hauntings. So the Stanley Hotel, the most haunted hotel in Colorado. Fun fact, I'm actually a Born and I was raised in Colorado for like till I was five or six but a lot of my family is from Colorado so that's why I'm out here and I dragged my mom and grandma to the Stanley Hotel. <laughs> okay that's interesting so in 1903 F.O. Stanley was given less than six months to live due to tuberculosis and the weird thing is remember I felt my lungs started hurting like in that area by that picture I didn't know if it was like the man in the picture or what it was 
but tuberculosis is like where your lungs like you cough a lot like you have this really deep cough and that could have been what I was feeling honestly and this is talking about a doctor which is kind of weird too okay let's see so this hotel was uh, the inspiration for The Shining. I'm not sure if they filmed in here at all. Maybe they did. I'm not really sure about that. It was like God had put me there to hear that and see those things. So Stephen King experienced a lot of weird things here. Ghostly occurrences are reported in almost every single room of this vast hotel. Apparently the ghosts hate vacuum cleaners. That's pretty funny. So they unplug the vacuum cleaners. Oh... Room 217. I'm by that room. Let's go down there. This is room 217. Let's see. Okay, this happened in this room. In 1911, during a large storm, the head housekeeper, Miss Wilson, was lighting the lanterns in room 217 when there was an explosion. <gasps> I said I felt a fire. Elizabeth was blasted through the floor into Mick Gregor dining room below. She survived with only broken ankles. Now she spends most of her afterlife still taking care of the room. What? I literally picked up on, like I kept seeing fire and I was like, where is this coming from? There was a freaking explosion. Like what? All right, I need to go back to the room because I'm starting to get the, you know, not feeling so good, so be right back. So I had to sprint to the room just to go and well, um, but it was funny because I ran in and I heard this little girl, I don't know if it was Abby or who that was, but she was like, hello. And I was like, hi, you probably don't want to see this. And then I went and did my thing. <sighs> yeah, she was saying hello to me. I'm not feeling very good at all. So I'm gonna rest for a minute. My stomach's really hurting really bad. Ow. And maybe when my grandma and mom come in, maybe we could do like the dowsing rods and do like little sessions in here. Kinda tried to take you guys around the whole hotel or what I could make it through. I definitely plan on coming back here. Just give me a hot minute here and we'll be back. I am resting, got my ice chips. But anyways, I wanted to share this with you. I thought this was pretty interesting. Um, it said that actor Jim Carrey, which I'm a huge fan of, he's he's into spirituality too, which I think is freaking amazing. He stayed in room 217 when they were filming Dumb and Dumber, and he reportedly got so spooked that he ran from the room half naked in the middle of the night. <laughs> oh, so that big staircase I was showing you guys has been dubbed as the Vortex, and it's supposedly a tornado of spiritual energy. So like a portal, which I totally believe. Definitely, going up those stairs, it just feels different. Like you feel like you walked into this really heavy air and energy, you just can't breathe, like it's weird. If you guys have ever experienced that, let me know here at the Stanley Hotel. My stomach picked the worst day to act like this. I'm very upset with you stomach, I'm very upset. Okay guys, I took more medicine. Um, we're hanging in there <laughs> thanks to these two. So my grandma's back there, you can see her a little bit. And then my mom, they actually had a weird experience on the fourth floor, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. There's yeah. a the fourth floor. Yeah, it's the fourth floor. Well, I went by that room and it was room 401, yes, right? 401. And I automatically felt a heavy, just super negative energy. And when they were walking by it, Apparently the door started shaking and no one came out like right? yeah, I don't know what it was But it was like the door was like like it was like really aggressive like it like really sh like shaking It's it made and, you jump and there was, like, no, you could see it underneath, So there's like no feet or anything. So it was really it was just really weird Yeah, you know, we ran and we were like, okay, we got to tell Kelsey this. Yeah, they ran <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't expect to see anything because it's like in the day. Yeah, there was nobody there. There's always ghosts day or night I don't know. I feel like they're they have more energy with the moon like they're more active at night But I'm gonna use my dowsing rods. I don't think my grandma's seen me use the dowsing rods. Have you? No. No. Well, only on um, on the video, right? Right, not in person. No. Okay, I'm reaching out to the woman that was sitting in the chair. Positive spirits only, no negativity. Only positive spirits, please. Okay. Okay. Ice. I was eating ice all day. That's weird. Okay. Can the woman cross the rods if you're here? Yes, she's here. 
Thank you. Did you die in this hotel? I didn't think so. Can you tell me how you died? I lost a foot. I heard I lost a foot. She has two feet. Maybe she lost her foot when she was alive and got an infection and died. Died. I feel like she- okay, let's see. Did you get an infection in your foot and die from that? Yes. That's scary. Wow, that's why I couldn't figure it out. I could not figure out how she died, like, for so long that that actually makes a lot of sense. My mom is just, like, freaking out. Yeah. Do you want to try them? No. <laughs> I heard Cheryl. Cheryl, can you point to where you are in the room right now? She's in the chair again. She has, like, this white, like, dress on, like, a super... Like, I don't think it's a nightgown, it's like a nice old dress, like a white one. And it kind of has like a band around the bottom of it, like, like a ribbon. And then her legs are crossed, like this. And she's sitting up very proper, and she has dark hair. Is the little girl here with us too? Yes. Is it Abby? Abby, sit down. Abby, can you point to where you are in the room I heard behind you? So let's see if it points to behind me. Yep, she's back there by the door. She really likes that door. For, she's always like hanging out by the door. Abby, did you die in this hotel? No. Abby, were you attacked? So I see her being attacked by someone and like dragged by her arm. I don't know what happened. Like, I don't know if she had an abusive father or what. Yes, she did. Okay. Abby, did your father kill you? Yes, he did. Well, was here too. All right, well, thank you guys for communicating with me. I'd appreciate if you guys just let us have a peaceful sleep. Maybe Lola can help us here and Lenny protect us and make sure that no negative en entities come to us. What do you think, Grandma? Well, I'm getting ready to like, wow. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of scary. Is it? <laughs> yes, it is, it is. And I believe that there, yet you see mm -hmm. these people here. And like I said, when we went down there. Oh, the room 401. Well, that was weird. That was just that was weird. really scary. I don't know how to explain that. No, I don't either. I I thought maybe we tripped something or something, so I kept going back and no, forth. she kept going back and forth because she was, oh no, there's a trip wire. A there's trip, a trip wire. wire. Yeah, or something. In the hotel. Yeah, so and she kept happened. going back and up and forth. And, and I'm like, no, oh, Mom, there's nobody here. We <laughs> don't do that. It's not like a, uh, this a haunted house. house, you know? That's no. funny. But it was like, I heard the rattling. Now, to me, I, I heard, I, I thought it was the doorknobs and like somebody trying to get out and banging, 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 trying to get out. I expected somebody to come rushing out and then all of a sudden it was stopped. stopped. Yeah. Wow. How yeah. weird. Yeah. yeah it's really weird. I, I mean, I usually don't see anything. I don't feel anything. <laughs> I don't want to see anything. Right. I don't want to see anything. <laughs> but that was weird. It scared yes, me. It scared, it scared you. <laughs> All right, guys, it is 3 a.m. I'm feeling a little better right now, so my mom she woke up. Oh, <laughs> she woke up at 3 a.m. and she's like, she's like, oh, I thought that shadow was someone. She's like, let's go out. So here we are, 3 a.m., guys.